behind us we have got the, the new transport interchange. Um, this has been delivered by Scottish Borders Council as a, a long-term commitment to the, the Borders Railway. It's, it's part of um, what people might know as the Gala Shields Inner Relief Road, which started in 2004 prior to the railway get, being committed to by Scottish Government. And this is Scottish Borders Council looking at the wider town Gala Shields and improving infrastructure to complement the Borders Railway and um, also open up development and provide um, environmental benefits in the town centre. So behind you as now is really the culmination of 10 years of work uh, by Scottish Borders Council to create um, a gateway to the, the borders. This is the main station in, in the Scottish Borders for the Borders Railway. So we're trying to create a very positive impression for visitors and investors to the area. But we're also trying to improve the facilities for sustainable transport users. So people who will use the bus, who will use the train, um, and subsequently then promote the use of these modes of transport. The interchange um, on the ground floor will be bus facilities predominantly, so we will have indoor uh, waiting facilities for users of the, the bus and train. We've also incorporated um, a cafe space which will be leased to the market at the start of 2015. Um, the facilities uh, will be very much enhanced from what's was in Stirling Street. Um, we will have obviously the usual toilets in there for people's convenience but we will also have a change in places facility um, and we will have baby changing. We will also have a shower in there. Um, it might sound a bit strange but we are trying to promote sustainable access to the transport interchange. So we've got uh, bus routes within the town so you can access a train but we're also looking to promote cycling, walking, even running to the, the bus station so you could if you wanted to get a quick shower before you nip on the train. We had the opportunity um, with this to get close to £2 million worth of European funding in and that provided the opportunity to deliver business space in the heart of Gala Shields. So we've got um, around about 700 square metres of business space that will be let out and that provides an opportunity to track business into the heart of Gala Shields and with it the footfall vitality and viability of drawing that footfall into the town centre. So it's an overall benefit for the centre of Gala Shields. The longer term aspiration is actually there is a, a supplementary planning guidance in place for Stirling Street and wider generation in the, the future. We police the railway infrastructure. Um, our purpose is to ensure that passengers that travel on, on, on the railway are safe and secure. Um, we also work with the railway industry partners, um, Network Rail and train operating companies to ensure that um, the, the railway itself is safe and free of disruption and that people feel safe when they travel and use the railway network. In respect of the, the borders itself, um, we have a, a policing team that was specially formed um, for this project. Uh, their role is um, around uh, community engagement and working with um, Network Rail and their contractor to ensure that the actual project itself is free of disruption.
and can be delivered on time. En engaging with, with the community and putting out the message about you know, safety, particularly in respect of people that aren't used to having a railway running through their local area, which is the, the case with, with, with Borders Railway. Um, we are engaging with um, children via a uh, crucial crew um, we have an officer and this is our third year running that we've been actually involved in Crucial Crew getting that vital message out that you know it is not safe to play on, on the railway and to really you know, stay away from, from the railway as a playground. The land at Vale works that are going on just now are nearly complete and in about a month's time they will finish and the, the network rail team and BAM will be away from, from the land at Vale, it will be back open again and that will happen before Bank Street formally closes so there's a section at Bank Street closes but that doesn't close until we get Ladder Vale finished and then I think the worst of the disruption in Gala Shields should be at an end. But the prize at the end of it is something worth waiting for. The prize is worth waiting for. I mean, we're building the first major domestic railway in 100 years. It's a very significant rail construction project. Coming through Galashiel was always going to be a significant challenge and, and undoubtedly there was going to be disruption. But we're doing our utmost to try and reduce that disruption and actually we're now at the peak point of disruption and in the weeks ahead motorists and pedestrians will very much see the town returning to normal and that disruption reducing significantly. Well let's talk about those exciting times ahead because January and February it's going to be full on, it's going to be a memorable occasion for Gala Shield seeing tracks coming through here and a tear in several eyes I think. I think so, I mean we are reaching the point of the railway's construction where track laying is coming to an end. The, the work to bring the track from Stow all the way into Gala Shields and down to Tweed Bank will take place in January and they're very committed to trying to get that finished as quickly as they can and certainly by the end of the month we should see all the track laid and in place and that's going to be a very important milestone for the project indeed to see that track in place and everyone's looking forward to getting it through Gala Shields and getting that part of the work complete. Track laying is a very significant part of the work and once that's done all the other works around the railway are contained on the railway and so we're going to see signalling and other things falling on, all the different things that take place to put the track in place but certainly now we're very much starting to see the railway major construction winding down as they head towards that point um, when, they hand the net, when they hand the finished railway over to Network Rail to start the testing. What else is going to be happening sort of leading up to March and April? Well, significant things are still going on. Obviously, we are now in full-scale station construction, and all the stations are now being constructed. The car parks associated with them are coming on site, and some of the stations where there are buildings, those buildings are now beginning construction as well. And places like Tweed Bank, which um, have seen the construction of the platform and the railway track bed and very little else, are now going to move on full-scale, and you're going to see the car parking area, the station building, created and all the other facilities taking place in those months and that will be the case up and down the length of the line. We're also going to see the signalling and other infrastructure put in place and then we'll start to see people working on the line doing the final checking before they hand over for driver training. So a lot of work taking place February, March, April to make sure they can make, make that deadline of, of May time to hand over the, the track and hand over the railway so driver testing can begin.